um, philosopher, literary critic, or cultural critic named Donna Haraway who writes about cyborgs or um, you know, James T. Kirk. You know, you know what you do. <laughs> anyway, but the, the point I'm so so to answer the question, um, I'm interested in taking up this position that Kurt's band takes up. But it's from this very specific kind of historical position, right? Because my field of study, I mean, I'm interested in performance studies and art history and poetry, but if, if anybody asked me what my actual sort of field of study is, it would be, I would say, without hesitation, black studies. And part of what it is that is the purview of black studies is precisely this long, extended investigation of these complicated sort of interstitial spaces in which personhood merges into thingliness, in which personhood merges into objecthood, like in Piper's work, for instance, in which personhood merges into the machine. Like the reason why I'm talking about, y'all know who Alan Turing is? He's, yeah, one of the key figures in the history of, of modern computation. If you go back to the 19th century, however, and sort of study a little bit, which I only know a little bit about it, the early history of computing, the key figure in Britain is a guy named Charles Babbage, who creates two machines, two massive machines. Um, so you can still see one of them in the museum in London. One's called the Difference Engine. Um, I'm spacing out on a second. But, but if you... Basically, what Babbage was attempting to do is to figure out a way to use mechanical instruments and large machines that would be able to do quickly and more accurately and more efficiently the work that individual humans had to do, for instance, in calculating tides. This was very important for business.